Hi guys, I'm here today to show you some of the things I'm going to use to decorate my grimoire. So I've shown you this before, but right now it's just completely blank. I haven't started on decorating it or writing in it or anything. It's got this real nice parchment paper. Um, I don't know how well you can really see it, but it's real nice. Um, just really nice parchment paper, and then it's got this kind of... Um, I don't know what you call this, marbled maybe, inside with the gold. And as you can see, it's post-bound. So, I've got this bag here. Um, it's kind of big, you know, there's my hand. Um, but it's not real thick, it's just like this thick. And I put this little label in it, it's got these different pockets. And it's got a big pocket on the other side, and then it's got different things I'm going to use to decorate inside. So, I'm going to take some of this stuff out and show it to you. Okay, I'm going to start with paper type things and move on from there. So I've got this paper here. It's a stationary paper. It's, um, you can see compared to this, which is white, the color is, you know, it's dyed. There's 20 sheets in here. It's a parchment. And on the other side, it's got like these suggestive uses. Um, it's written on one of them, but, you know, it's 20 pieces of it. So I've got that. Then I've also got this parchment, which kind of matches the parchment that's in the book already. Sorry, let me move this first one out of the way. This kind of matches the parchment that's in the book already. Again, you can see the difference between the it and the white. But this is just, um this Strathmore brand that produces the, um, they make the journals or, um, to write, to draw in. Then I've also got this 12 by 12 cardstock paper. Um, just a natural color. You know, I've opened it up here to see what it's like. Then I bought a few of these that are, hang on, let me get them, okay, these that are, um, again, they're not white, you know, but they're, that I bought them individually in the scrapbook section. There's this one that's just kind of plain. There's this one that's also, it's different than the first one. You can see that it's, it's got more of a texture to it. And these are more cardstocky. I mean, they're not cardstock exactly, but they're a little bit thicker than regular paper. But these are 12 by 12, so you can see how big they are. That one, I've got this one with the writing on it. This one's more of a regular paper. I've got this one. Then a couple of these kind of homemade papers with the stuff in them. I've got a few like that. But this one that's a homemade paper with writing on it. It's kind of thick. I've got this which is a our family tree type thing and you can see it goes like that. I got a couple of those in case I mess up on the first one. Well, I guess I don't have any couple. I got three. And I got this one, which kind of, from back here, it just looks a little bit aged, but if you look up close, it's got like scratches and looks real aged, which is really cool. Then I've got this one. And back to the regular cardstock paper. So I'll be right back. Okay, the other paper I have, I've had this for a really long time. Oh, it's actually upside down, but um, it's this scrapbooking paper that um you can see but it's like homemade paper all different sizes from this small little papers and some of them have like stitching on them and um all different kinds some of it i just put in this little bag for some reason some of it's like stamped on i guess not like with the ink stamp but where it's been pressed to be embossed embossed that's the word <clears throat> and then some of them are bigger so I've had this for a long, long time. Like you can see the package is ripped and but there's a bunch of different papers in here. A bunch of them. So I plan to probably use some of that. Then I 
I got what's really cool is this isn't exactly paper, but I got these two CDs that come with all these different designs that you can print stuff out on the computer. And since my book's postbound, I can print it to the actual page and I won't have to do the like cutting and pasting stuff. So this one is um, Celtic and Norris designs and this one is just decorative ornaments. So it's just like trade stuff. I got these at, um, I got these at, where was it? Barnes and Noble, I think. So it's just got some real pretty stuff in it. So yeah. <clears throat> and then in the back, it's got the CD. Right there. So I've never actually put them in the computer yet, but to look at them, but they've got a lot of cool stuff in them, I know. So then the last four paper type stuff is I got a bunch of stuff cut out. These are printed the symbols, um, like the pentacle, the pentagram, the sun symbol, all different kinds of symbols. Um, let me take it out and I can show you all a little bit better. Or if you can out in the others. But if you, if you, you can see there are different symbols. The wand, fire, earth, air, you know, all that kind of stuff. Let's see, what you can see. And then they've been torn and burnt around the edges a little bit. Which I used to think burning around the edges made stuff look older, but now I've realized that really it just makes it look like it was in a fire. <laughs> it doesn't really make it look older, it just looks like it was in a fire and was poorly treated. That's my opinion anyway. But, you know, whatever. I'm still going to use those. Because they're not like super burnt. They're just a little bit. And this is a huge bag of a bunch of different cutouts. And um, there's some stuff from magazines. And there's a couple things in here like this that aren't cutouts. That's like a piece of jewelry. And like that down there is a tassel. But um, these are things that were either cut out from magazines or some of it's printed from online but some of it's stuff like this you know just stuff I thought would be cool some of it's just paper like this is just paper there's nothing there and some of it's more like this from a magazine I thought would be real pretty and then you can see the back it's just magazine but um, there's a lot of different stuff in here. And then some of it is like, this one is a like color it yourself card. I'm just going to use this side, not this side because it's been colored on. But like wands, four of wands. And then some of it is like, um, this has tape on it for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it's, you know, some type of herb or plant. So there's all different kinds of stuff in here. And let me get out some of the like scrapbooky type stuff and I'll show you that next. So these are all some um, stickers and accessories. This is a sticker I got offline. These are stuff from craft stores. These are like pressed embossed leaves. This is a family tree sticker there's a big tree and then leaves for each family member and then um like this is where you put the name of the family i suppose and then i've got like these these are actual leaves like the leaf skeletons or whatever flower stickers these are some trees i thought i could use for Samhain. some of this type of trees i could use for yule some photo corners some of these metal photo frames some wheat I thought I could use for llamas, some um, just like fern type stickers I thought I could use during at some point. Got some more of this. 
and some lacy stickers and then I've just got like snowflakes some more of the wheat stuff some of these type which I probably won't end up using because they're too thick and then I've got if I move all this over I bought this bag of rub-ons which has stuff like this one from Tim Holtz that has butterflies birds stuff like that. I won't use stuff like the True Love, obviously, but um, then I've got this, which is Alphabet. Then if you flip to this side, this is actually temporary tattoos, which you can use on paper if you're careful not to wet the paper too much. I've done that before. Then there's this one, which is just like a decorative edge. There's, um, it's a bandit, there's this one which has some flowery doodles and some decorative edging. This one, which has a moon and sun up there and some decorative edging and different stuff. And then there's some more decorative stuff in there and just all kinds of decorative stuff like that. Then I've got some more bonds like this. And, oh, that's the same thing. Um, this one's different. This one's more colorful. Like that. Then I'm also planning on using stuff like this stencil because my writing is terrible. And I have this smaller one in different font. And then there's some more rub-ons. I really like rub-ons because they're like stickers where they're pretty but they don't stick up on the paper. Then I've got a few things like these stamps. That's a bird cage. I don't know if I'll use that or not. Sorry, getting off track, reaching for something else. The camera. I've got this pretty leaf. And this pumpkin would be good for Samhain. Then let me see what else I've got in my bag. Um, yeah, that's about all. I've got a few other like rub on things. And I've got these tags here. Those tags, and I have some other little tags around here somewhere, but as you can see now, my table's like overflowing with stuff, so I have some smaller ones. These are, you know, that size, but I had some smaller ones around here somewhere that were tea-dyed. Oh, here we go. Yeah, these ones I tea-dyed, and then there's ten of them that I tea-dyed, and ten of them that are still white. But, um, yeah, you can see how it like turned out uneven with the tea-dyeing, and I think that's really pretty. So this is basically, oh, right, and this. I've got this ruler that if you look at the edges, they are, like, all jagged. And you're supposed to put the paper there and then, like, tear it up. And it makes the edge jagged like that. And then this side we make it more jagged because it's, sorry, let me, there we go. More jagged because it's, you know, the jaggedness is, sorry, I don't know how to really say it, but it's, bigger and this side's smaller so it would make it the tears smaller but it's um a prescott grip and rip tearing ruler it's pretty cool so this is all my stuff because i might decide to tear the edges at the pages i'm not sure i'll have to try it on a couple of them and see what it looks like but this is all my stuff i've got so far and I don't know what I'll end up doing exactly with it all, but yeah, I've got to finish doing all my research and getting all my things in order in order before I can actually start the decorating process. So I hope you liked, oh, and there was my bag onto the floor. That's okay. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And blessed be.